Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project Jewelry Shop Management System and I have developed this project in Java Spring Boot and uh, Angular MySQL and database I am using the MySQL and JTK version I am using JTK 1.8 and Angular version is uh, Angular 7 and uh, MySQL version is 5.6 so these version softwares we, uh, I am using for developing this project for ID part I have used uh, Visual Studio Code for coding the Angular part and STS Spring Boot tool suits for coding the uh, Spring Boot part, right? So this is a micro service based architecture where all of the microservices we have developed in Spring Boot and all of the UI component we have developed in Angular, right? So these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project jewelry shop management system. And this is an admin driven application means admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations right there is no customer login right but if you need then we can develop it also but currently this project has only and only admin functionality right so for running this project you need to import the spring boot part means the microservice part into the sts and you can run it from there for angular part you can import it in, in visual studio code and you can run it from ng sir and you will get this page right once you get this page then you can log in using the username amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test once you log in inside the system you will get this dashboard right from here you can perform certain operations like you can start the sales for start the sales you need to enter the customer name and the customer mobile number here right so suppose i am entering the customer name and the customer mobile number anything you can enter once you click on the start sales then the system will automatic generate the order id and the order date each and everything will be generated by the system and all of the information will be saved inside the database here you need to select the product you can select the product and that number of quantity here yeah, this one golden ring one right here again you can select a product and the quantity right so you can select you have added some of the items into the cart and if you want to add more then you can uh, add any number of items suppose if you want to remove any item just click on the delete button and that item will be removed suppose i am removing the product added 10 right so you can see that product added 10 has been removed so if you complete will of the with all of the sales operation just click on the save sales details once you click on the save sales details the whole information of this page will be saved inside the database let me show you so you can see the order number 106 has been saved inside the database and total amount customer has paid is 28000 right so this is the uh, receipt right you can even print the receipt right so you can access it later also so i will show you so this is the order report so it will contain all of the orders which has been made by the admin and you can see this is the last order and you can click on this uh, arrow icon to see the order details so you can see the order details here this is a product report all of the product which you have added will be displayed here along with all of the details right you can edit and you can update the details from here right even you can perform any type of product application create it update and delete operations from here this is an add product from here you can add the product this is a company report means what type of uh, company that a uh, jewelry belongs to the SPCG of Leon jewelers and many more companies that uh, uh, jewelry belongs to then you can manage the company details perform the credit application from here for the company this is add company if you want to add a new company then you can add it from here this is a category report what category that uh, jewelry belongs to will be displayed here right so this is the add category this so this is the credit application for the category report and the logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the admin section letter right uh, without logging it so let me show you logout you can see you have been redacted to the login page but if you log in then you can see the dashboard right so this is the this dashboard is totally restricted after the login you can't access it without login right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project and the project title is jewelry shop management system as i told you earlier this is a microservice based architecture and it we had developed it in 
Java is Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL database. We are using STS and Visual Studio Code for developing the codes, right? So these are all functionalities we have developed. If you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comments. We will incorporate those changes. We will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.